Cam here from Big Gold Belt Media at New York Toy Fair 2023. We've got Brian here from McFarland Toys. Get ready to show us this booth. I'm super excited to have you here. How's your con been so far, Brian? Uh, it's the first day, so yeah, it's been great. Yeah, yeah it's so good, Tons right? of energy, yeah. Yeah, good start, good start. <laughs> um, see, you guys got tons of stuff displayed here. Let, let's walk through some of this stuff and see yeah, exactly yeah, where yeah. we at. So this is our Disney corner here. So uh, these are Mirrorverse figures, uh, seven inch scale on the top shelf, uh, five inch on the bottom. Seven inch scales are uh, really articulated, tons of great deco. And of course, the five inch scale allows you to build out the world. This is based on the mobile game, hugely successful and popular, uh, released last year. Uh, these designs obviously are edgy takes on the classic Disney characters, which is a perfect fit for McFarlane. Uh, so we're happy to continue this going. In the corner, you'll see a 12 inch pose Mickey Mouse as well. So five, seven, and 12 inch scales here uh, in the Disney Mirrorverse product line. Uh, over to Disney Avatar, so obviously one of the highest grossing films of all time from James Cameron. Uh, we've got the Avatar Collector uh, figures on the top, so those are approximately 7-inch scale. Uh, the Mega Banshee, which is just an iconic piece. Uh, the spit skim wing, the amp suit, so you can see all of the great detail. Everything has a black light activation uh, from the world of Pandora, uh, so you can see that deco that comes to life through the black light. Uh, that's on the Banshees, that's on the figures. Anything that was born on Pandora has that black light activation. On the lower shelves, the World of Pandora, which is the smaller scale that allows you to build out the world because obviously the, with the large creatures, things get really big really fast. Uh, so yeah, um, more to come from Avatar down the road. Yeah, I love that and how it adds the fluorescent light in there as well. It really right. kind of yeah. just brings the whole scene that you're trying to pick with these figures to life. Anyone's Detolf or Maja Case, wherever you're trying to display them at, which I think is really cool from McFarlane exactly. as well. Yeah. yeah. So let's jump down here uh, to Movie Maniac. So we relaunched this line with Warner Brothers 100 uh, to help celebrate their anniversary here. So the classic, uh, iconic uh, moments from Warner Brothers' long history, rich history. So uh, reveals here at the show are the It Clown and then Sheldon as the Flash from Big Bang Theory, a bit of a crossover with our DC roots here. Uh, down on the bottom shelf, Jumanji Next Level, the, uh, the Rock movie that came out a few years ago. Uh, featuring all the great characters there. Um, but we are looking to expand our boundaries to other properties beyond Warner Brothers like Jumanji and, uh, and others. Uh, so more to come from Movie Mania. Awesome. A huge fan of the Goonies, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, Sloth was one of the best sellers. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah, for sure. sure. Uh, McFarlane Toys Digital, this is our foray into the digital collectible area so um, these are examples of the physical figures that you can acquire in the digital space uh, everything is very limited there's multiple variations um, so it's a great way if you're somebody that's limited on collector space in your tiny apartment like mine in new york 10 years ago uh, and you want to you know just build your dream penthouse mcfarland toys digital allows you to do that so you can go to the mcfarlandtoystore.com download the viewer app and get started there that's beautiful amazing uh, moving on to our high-end resin yeah, yeah. statues. Um, this is DC Direct, uh, where we've got iconic pieces here, like the Blue Beetle theatrical statue from the film that just released. Superman's 85th anniversary, so we've got a Matching Comics number one statue here, uh, based on that iconic cover, the most valuable comic on the planet, right? And then we've got um, Aquaman 2 coming down the pike, and that is a super cool statue of Jason Momoa with the great water effects here. Um, some of the longest running statue lines in collectible history are the Batman black and white line. So that continues with uh, entries from Mitch Gerard's. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Lee Weeks on the end uh, and then newer entries like Simone DeMio. And then J. Scott Campbell is joining the CoverGirls statue line with that great iteration of Catwoman. So Jay's is very involved in everything that we're doing here with those statues. So a lot of fun there. And then a truly unique piece, the Riddler puzzle box, which was nominated for Toy of the Year. Uh, inside of that, if you solve, solve all four puzzles uh, lifted from the world of Gotham, you get a one-to-one -one scale metal batarang. Um, so it's it's yeah, it's truly a, a experiential product, which is a lot of fun to solve for sure. Yeah. Yep. That's okay. No, you're right. Okay, so down here we have DC Retro Batman '66. Uh, we're just pushing the boundaries here with playsets and vehicles uh, and new characters. So. We did a lot of the characters from the show, so we're uh, tapping into the comic book that DC created for years and years. That allows us to do more characters like Lord Deathman and Superman, uh, and then a variant of, of, of the Joker there. So uh, really great designs, um, really you know, 
hits your nostalgia fandom, you know, uh, with Batman sixty six. If you're a friend yeah. of the Adam West, I'm, I'm loving the pole set. Yeah, yeah, and we have a we have a yeah. we have the Batcave as well. It was released a couple yeah. years ago. So if you're, you're completionist and you want both, you can you can make that happen. Yeah, I, th- I think that's one of the best parts about McFarland Toys is that you guys. You, you go for the popular ones, but you also do the one-offs as well that a lot of fans that are really deep into the DC comic book world and into WB, you know, really want to see, you know? Um, right. We're, we're all completionists and collectors right. here, so we get that deeper cut that is necessary, right? Exactly, so, exactly. Um, speaking of deeper cut slash necessary cuts, let's start with the McFarlane Collector Edition, which is allowing us to do some of those deeper dives, uh, include more accessories in the box, deluxe art card stand, but characters like Firestorm, Sinestro, Hawkman, uh, essential to any DC collector. So we've got that there in the collector edition. Uh, great two packs uh, on the top shelf. Perhaps maybe my most favorite build a wave of recent memory uh, is the <laughs> Batman and Robin uh, build a wave featuring George Clooney's Batman and Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze as um, the build a figure and then Uma Thurman Poison Ivy. First Poison Ivy we've done here within the McFarlane Toys space. So. Um, that, I mean, for it to be the, the first one, it looks really, really good. I mean, especially just as a collection alone. I mean, you're completing a whole set right here with just all the four of these right here. Yeah, so and we love great. the Legacy Batman movies. So, uh, and these are great for toy designs. They're just perfect. For, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Um, let's see. Maybe six weeks ago, Batman the Animated Series returned uh, with our friends at Target as a build a figure wave. So, this is the DC Direct Classic line done with a, a kind of newer spin with some cell shading but as a build a figure program and all the new figures that will be released as build a figures so condiment king uh obviously right. one of the quirkiest villains yeah, in the batman universe definitely... but necessary for batman the for sure, series. For sure. uh there you see the bat cycle as well that'll have lights in it um the reversible base so there's two different surfaces on that base uh and then alfred will make a return as well so i know that's a highly demanded figure sure um, yeah those... yeah Condiment King, honestly, I mean, like you said, one of the quirkiest uh, characters in Batman. But like I said, you guys always nail hit the nail on the head. You know, always <laughs> getting these these one offs that we usually don't see. Exactly. Um, let's see. So page DC page punchers continues with our custom figures. Is there? We come up with the toy designs, and then our friends at DC develop a comic book around that. They've been doing a stellar job. You can see with the artwork there. And then we've got classic uh, single, sorry, uh, three inch figures down at the bottom that come with classic reprint comics. So iconic books like Dark Knight's Metal, Dark Knight's Return uh, come uh, with two three inch figures. So uh, a great way to bring new collectors, new readers into the action figure world. So um, yeah, excited about these continuing. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. It's actually my first time seeing Aqualad. Uh, yeah, in an Aquaman form, and I think that's really, really and they're cool custom too. designs, but yeah. but those in particular are not pulled too oh, yeah. far from the Aquaman, right? No, no, not so at all. they work not for at a all. larger collection. Yeah. Definitely. Let's uh, head over to Spawn here. Obviously, two of the newest guys, uh, Disruptor and Reaper. Uh, those are coming out this fall. Uh, to the right, we've got the Gunslinger on a horse born. That was uh, that was up for uh, Toy of the Year uh, just 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 this week. Um, but also, we've got the Page Punchers for Spawn as well. So one of the people that doesn't have spawn number one here's your chance to get it with uh, the uh, spawn and anti-spawn then you've got gunslinger uh so great uh selection of spawn books there uh from that universe in the page puncher format up top we've got dune 2 this movie uh was slightly delayed because of the conditions in hollywood but we've got super accurate uh hyper uh, um, accurate uh, likeness here with uh, the main cast from Dune 2, Christopher Walken, um, and then Austin Butler, off of his Elvis fame, plays the, the, the big villain Fade Ralph in the film. I think that's always what surprises me is that the, the, the amount of detail that is thrown into these figures. I'm so used to being a kid and having <laughs> the ones that are like, you know, that might be him, it might not right. be him, but when you look at these, uh, these action figures, you definitely know these are the actors that are playing them for sure. Yeah, and the fabric capes go a long way. Fabric clothing I oh, think, yeah. uh, really brings an element of realness there. Definitely. Uh, Demon Slayer, this launched with us just this, just this year. We've got the 5, 7, and 12-inch scales. Uh, it's one of the hottest anime properties around. We're happy to be in, in the world uh, to play with these toys as well. Uh, so Tanjiro, uh, Izuko, some of the main characters, you're going to see those in their variety of costumes throughout the waves here. Um, 
So excited to see Demon Slayer uh, move ahead. And then uh, sports is returning. Uh, sports picks uh, here at McFarland Toys. Obviously, we have a rich sports history. Uh, we're starting with the NHL and the NFL on the other wall here. Uh, so you can see classic characters like Barry Sanders and, you know, uh, the newest icons like Kittle and Patrick Mahomes and, um, uh, and Burrow. So uh, lots of uh, richness, rich, richness to come. Each figure comes with a sports icon on that circular base. Uh, obviously the logo, the name, and then uh, that great backer card to really build out a nice display piece. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Kind of vintage McFarlane clamshell packaging here as well. So um, if you're an in-package collector like myself, it still presents really well in package. Um, so yeah, lots to come from from uh, McFarlane Toys in 2024. Yeah, that's really, really exciting. Um, Brian, thank you again. I appreciate of course, you yeah, taking the time. By. Yeah, uh, I mean, we can find all of your products here at McFarlandToys.com. Yeah, well if you go to McFarlandToysStore.com or McFarland.com, you'll get all the information there. And uh, we're at every major retailer. Uh, so, yeah, find, cool, us, find perfect. us in those well, places. I, I wish you the best on the con for yeah. the rest of the week. Yeah, you um, as well. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that's going to be it for us here at Big Gold Belt Media. For more content, go to check us out at BigGoldBeltMedia.com. Thank you.